We're currently taking a look at some of the exciting new features of Pro Tools 7.3. Let's take a look at some more. Pro Tools now supports the importing and exporting of key signatures for your session thanks to the new key signature ruler right here. The ruler allows you to insert key signatures using either the add button or by control clicking directly in the ruler. In the dialog you have all of your major and minor keys available along with a convenient snap to bar function. There's also an option for editing the pitch tracks which is also a new feature of 7.3. Now all MIDI and instrument tracks have an option called pitched that allows the track to conform or transpose to any key signature changes. The drum track has it disabled so it ignores any transposition. Check it out. I want to insert a key change right here at verse 1. So I'll control click and add a key change to C minor. I'll specify that pitch track should transpose down instead of up and I'll leave this option set to default. Now all my MIDI tracks except for the drums get transposed. Now in addition to the key signature ruler, there's also an addition to the transpose function in the real time properties. You can now transpose in key, up or down in scale steps. Wow, some great additions to Pro Tools. Now 7.3 also offers new additions to the Digirack suite of plugins. Let's take a look at those. Phase Scope is a multi-channel metering plugin that provides signal level and phase information. The second edition is Time Shift, a time compression, expansion and pitch shift plugin with unlimited uses. I'm going to use it to create a harmony on this vocal line right here. The Time Shift is an audio suite plugin that can process a wide range of audio from loops and vocals to complete mixes. The time expansion sounds unbelievable. I'll show you what I mean. I'll take the tail end of the word wives and slow it down, all the way down. The ball is wow, that's amazing. Let's undo that and create some harmonies. I'll make a copy and toggle edit and split into two phrases. Then I'm going to bring the format down, negative 250, and drop the first phrase by three half tones and the second phrase by four half tones. The ball is wise. Now I need to create the upper harmony that will sound more female like, so I'll split this into three phrases by separating at this selection. And then I'll bring the format up to plus 150 to give it a female tone. The first phrase will be up five half steps, the second four, and the last will be up three half steps. The ball is wide. <laughs> I love it, love time shift. The ball is wide. Now the Time Shift plugin can be selected in the preferences as the default algorithm when you're using the Time Expansion Compression tool in the edit window. This means that if you're halving the speed or doubling the speed of an audio loop directly on the region itself, you're doing it with the best expansion and compression. In the next video, I'll be showing you all about the new Dynamic Transport, so be sure to check it out.